Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Witchwood. Uh, this game came out recently, actually. I want to say in the last month or so. I really wanted to play it when it first came out, but I didn't get around to it, and I apologize. But we're going to get into it now. Swamp. Once upon a time, there lived an odd little witch in an odd little house. I love the art already. She spent most of her days tending to her odd little garden and resting in her odd little chair. On this day, however, her sleep is interrupted by an odd little noise. Bah! Who's there? Get up. Sure, we'll get up. Oh, this is beautiful. There's a goat in my house. Oh, the game's running like a potato. Okay, that looks a little cleaner. Press A to interact. Okay. So yeah, I'm playing on controller. This seemed like a game that lent itself to being played on controller. Can I interact with my chair? And it's so pretty. Oh. Am I interacting with it? Or am I just thinking of it? All right, go, what are you doing in my house? You devil, how dare you wake a young lady from her beauty sleep? Shoo shoo, get out of my house, you mindless beast. You're making a mess. With a swift kick in the rump, you boot the goat through the front door. Do I have little, like, like bird feet? When did this place get so cluttered? I could have sworn I swept the hearth just yesterday. First things first, my old grimoire must be around here somewhere. First things first. Well, here's my grimoire. Also, is this too loud? I never know. I really never know. I guess we'll find out. Ah, here it is. Hmm. It's lighter than I recall. Your grimoire contains all of your craftable recipes. You can open it at any time by pressing Y. Mending. A speckled herbal paste that heals aches and pains, heals depleted hearts. All right, I need forest herb and hag shroom. That's pretty cool. I have nothing in my inventory. I'm in my home. Find your braided belt in the chest. How long has it been stored away? Okay. All my recipes are missing. That damnable creature has chewed up all the pages of my book. Where's my belt? I'll need it to carry my things if I'm going to confront the beast. I must have left it in that trunk over there. I don't know why I thought she was like, where's my belt? I have to go spank this creature. <laughs> what is that? Imp eye nut. Its thorny husk has stimulating properties, whether ground or con and consumed or simply stepped on. Ha. Braided belt, a simple rope waistband, keeps items handy. Reedy twine, th tough plant fibers, roughly braided into a thin row. Uh, even in the least likely of places, this tenacious ivy always finds a way. Uh, yeah, I'll take all this. There we go. Well, we got our braided belt. Oof, my poor back. How long was I napping for? A good dose of medicine ought to soothe these aching bones before I head outside. At least I still have the recipe for my mending poultice. Oh, yeah, and I have the stuff here. Forest herb. I think I need two forest herbs, though. Oh, there's more hag shrimp. Love it. Love it so far. Love the style of this game. This game is pretty. Also, I like whatever's going on in that picture on the wall. I'm sure I just did a zoom so you know what I was talking about. So how do I... So... Oh, I could just craft it from here. That was a very pleasant sound. That was funny. Whoa. Okay, so right trigger to heal. Where's my help? Oh, there you go. Go outside. Well, let's go. Y'all, I, this is beautiful. Also, the sound design is just very good so far. Stylistically, it's perfect. Overgrown yard. You step outside into a humid marsh and immediately stub your toe on a twisted root. Ouch. Close your eyes for a wink, and the next thing you know, the whole yard's gone to weeds. Somewhere in the distance, you can hear braying through the dense bramble. Where'd that cross-eyed Billy get to? He could at least put those gnashers to good use on this lawn. Press bleh to open your map and get a better look at your surroundings. Okay. Oh. 
interesting. I mean, this doesn't really tell me a lot. Oh, yes, it does. The goat's over here. He beckons without fingers. All right. Well, let's look at other stuff, too. Whoa. I have a whole goat statue. Some shears will cut these cleanly. All right, all right. Loving it. So I guess this is gonna be like some crafting collection. La di da. That's my house still. I almost forgot. Whoa. I like auto collected some of that. Can I get into this? No, there's no water. All right, all right. Uh, it's so pretty, y'all. Also, I don't know. Are we like? Are we wearing a helmet? Is that what's going on here? Like, what? What's up with that? Oh, there's that goat. Yo, Mr. Goat, after I get these mushrooms, we're gonna talk. Bah! Is that all you've got to say for yourself? Bah! The goat coughs up a disgusting hairball. Ah, yes. Hello, hello. Can you hear me now? Apologies, it's been so long since I've used a mortal vessel. Yuck, there's dirt in its mouth. Bah, bah. You can talk? Of course I can talk. Has your mind become so filled with cobwebs that you've forgotten your old friend? You wound me, madam. It's good to see you up and about. I was beginning to wonder if you'd ever awaken, though I suppose time flows strangely in this place. Anyway, I've come to collect. Do you have the amount we agreed upon? Amount? Amount of what? Oh dear. If you really don't remember, we should go over the contract details again. Down there. The goat nods its head towards the ancient stone gateway looming nearby. And just how am I supposed to get through that solid rock? You're the one who sealed it last. Take a closer look and I'm sure it will come back to you. Open your witch's eye with X and inspect objects and creatures to discover their weaknesses. What? The goat. I'll help you out, trust me. Okay. Stone pillar, an unusually large standing stone wrapped with enchanted engravings. Unveiling powder. Well, now I need to make unveiling powder. A sprinkling of this dust will reveal hidden mysteries. Okay. <laughs> Recipe learned. Don't underestimate your senses, my dear. You may be old, but you can see things others cannot. Hidden weaknesses lying below the surface. Ah, I can see it now. There are shallow runes etched onto the surface of the stone, but they are too faint for me to read. A powder of unveiling ought to do the trick. If you hadn't made a snack of my book, I wouldn't have to retranscribe my recipes. I shall not be held liable for any losses or inconveniences incurred as the result of a abyssal possession. By inspecting objects and creatures, you can learn new recipes to craft in your grimoire. Oh, really? Oh, really, you say? Oh, really? So, do I need shears? Where is it? Here they are. Reads shears. A simple snip of these to cut through a surprising variety. But yeah, but how do I make them? Common wetland grass no for its fibrous stem. Can't get into that. Uh, okay, well let's. Can I make unveiling powder? Oh, I can. Wow. Okay, let's go. I didn't even have to walk back. I had everything I needed. Uh. Reveal. Whoa. Okay, so there's. I'm not sure. Anyway, ignore me. What? No, don't make another. Oh boy. Holy crap! Did we reveal it? You smear a handful of glowing powder onto the runes of the doorway. A cool blue light emanates from the glyphs and envelops the entrance in its aura. You squint, attempting to discern the meaning of the letters. They appear to be in some obscure runic alphabet. What gibberish is this? It looks like it was carved by a frightened hen. Frightened hen? Hmm, it must be written in the umbral tongue. Allow me to translate. The goat steps up to the doorway and pauses. Hmm. Well, what does it say? The goat swings its shaggy head towards you. Dark matted wool obscures the creature's beady eyes. I... I cannot see. Unbelievable. What help are you then? I didn't come here to help. I came to collect. Now do something about this mop of hair, would you? Fine, fine. I think I have some rusty old shears down in the garden. 
Oh yeah, we're getting the shears, y'all. Don't even wait. Where they? Where the shears here? Oh, gotcha. Well, pardon me, uh, because I'm gonna go ahead and shear these things while we are here. Snip. Yeah. Wait. How do I? How do? Greedy twine. Yeah, I know that. How do I? There we go. Yes, please give me all the things. We're gonna need it. Oh, it's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, was there something else over here I need it? Whoa, what is that? Tangled vines. As you hack at the thick tangled vines with your shears, the tendrils seem to double in intensity, in density, and threaten to swallow up the doorway no matter how hard you work. Where do you think you're going? We haven't forgotten about me again, have you? No, we haven't. So wait, so this is my witchy eye. These old stones are tightly wrapped in innumerable vines. Fine, I guess I can't shear them. But I can shear this. All right, cool. So I think we've collected everything we can with the shears. It is interesting, because it's kind of hard to tell until you get up close to something what it is. Oh, look, I clipped your eyes. A quick snip. With much protesting and a nicked ear, you shear away clumps of dirty hair from the goat's eyes. Ah, much better. Oh my, were you always this grotesque, or is my memory failing me as well? Watch your tongue, or I'll give it a good snip, too. Now, can you read the runes or not? Hmm, yes, ahem. A space beneath, she sleeps alone. Tokens given up to the unknown. Fires of four shall uproot the stone. Braziers burn and await the crone. Crone? Who's it calling a crone? And what are these tokens I'm to burn? Perhaps you ought to take a closer look at those braziers. Fine, I can't believe I have to do all this. Uh, da 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 da. So, little remains of this brazier, an undeniably acrid smell. Dog hair. Uh, the remnants of the last burn are barely discernible. Blue feather. Some past contents have left a hard residue within frog slime. The inside catches the light just enough to suggest some past iridescence. So shiny stone, frog slime, dog hair. Ah, there we go. Dog's hair, bird feather, frog slime, and a shiny stone. I don't suppose you swallowed up any of those things while I was asleep. I don't think so, but feel free to sift through this creature's leavings if you want to be completely sure. However, there's a whole new world outside this little swamp, you know. See that gateway over there? The one with the lovely green flame. The goat motions to the far side of your yard. I guess a brisk walk in the woods would do these creaky joints some good. Too much time indoors is bad for the humors. All right, all right. Wait, is there something else I could pick up? No. So now are we gonna try to clip through there? Oh, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I get all of the things. Is that this? Oh, into the darkness. Tangled vines. Snipping and tearing, your shears make short work of the bramble. Whoa, yeah, can I? Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta hold it. How could I forget? Yo, I am loving this so far. You cut your way through the remaining vines and suddenly step onto a cold stone dais. Time seems to flow backwards, or maybe it speeds forwards? An oppressive, star-filled void stretches as far as you can see. Though there is no wind or sound in this void, a warm fall breeze and the chirping of birds seizes your attention. A doorway. Okay. Interesting. Can I have one? Heart seed. Interesting. What is this place? This is so cool. Let's go to the forest. I want to know what's going on in the forest. Whoa. Y'all, this is so cool. I don't even know what to, like, expect here in this forest. Hello, squirrel. A simple trap is what I need. Oh, golly. Interesting. Who are you? Bird watcher. The woman spins around on her heels so quickly she nearly hits you with her spyglass. Ah, you startled me. Can't you see I'm busy with my scientific research? Research? What is it you're looking for with that contraption? Why, the famed indigo-tufted forest lark. 
They're said to be native to this forest and this forest only. Have you seen one, perchance? You glance upward at the small blue bird perched atop the oblivious woman's hat. I haven't, sorry. A shame. Well, it's never too late to open one's eyes to the wonders of the natural world. You never know what you'll discover. She points at a nearby woodland creature, stiffing its che- stuffing its cheeks with seeds. Take that squirrel, for example. Spend a few moments. Spend a few moments watching its behavior, and you'll learn everything you know about it. Observation is key. Now, if you don't mind, I wouldn't want to miss making an exciting new discovery. The bluebird glances vacantly at you before pooping on the brim of the woman's hat. Okay, well, I'm gonna take these sticks, and yeah, I guess I will do some observing. The bird watcher, a faraway look in her eye as she looks upon the far away. I can't look at the bird. Squirrel, possesses an energy far outpacing its tranquil home. A snap trap. A wooden spring snare for catching the smaller dens of the forest, useful against birds, squirrels, and rats. So, does that mean I learned? Yep, I did learn that recipe. Huh. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Reagents? Regents? I actually should know how to pronounce that word, but I don't. Wicker work. A widget woven. A good frame to start building around. I'm assuming that's what I need for these. Yes, I need one of the little eyeball thingies. What is this? When thrown sharply against the ground, the seas will spirit you back to cozy comforts. Oh, so it takes you home. Nice. Very cool. A hatchet might break this part, uh, which means I need to know how to make a hatchet. Now I do, no, now I do, now I, now I do, no. We'll chop, anything needs chopping and we'll hack it all else. Okay, I guess we don't have that yet. Well, look, hey, I'm loving this so far, but I am gonna try to keep these initial episodes short uh, so that we can get everything we need and make sure that, you know, if you're interested, you can keep watching. But I'm gonna cut this one here. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching Witchwood with me. This game's beautiful. It's gorgeous, the audio is amazing, it's a witchy game, it's perfect, it's beautiful, and I love it. So, thank you so much for hanging out tonight and watching with me. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Uh, I believe the day this is released is New Year's Eve, so have an excellent night, and welcome into the new year, folks. I hope to see more of you here, and you'll be seeing plenty more from me. Take care, and thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, please. Be awesome if you did. Thanks. Bye. Have a good night. <laughs>